Today we start on putting the forward cant frames um, 2 through 12. But, um, as you look at the plan you realize that each one is at a different angle and the, the plan actually gives you the angle at which the heel of the cant frame is to be cut. I have taken my measurements off um, the model and the plan that's on the ground and found a slight variance of half a degree between my model and what is given uh, on the plan. So I plan to follow uh, what's on my model. We are going to attach the pieces that we've cut out from the transparent plan onto the stock timber. I have a piece of wax paper here and apply the rubber cement to the top side and then we place it onto the piece of wood follow any direction that we want it to, to go and we do the same thing with the other piece and I have to put a lot of, of glue on this I didn't have to do this with the contact cement and to make sure it's nice and hard I tend to clamp it down to let the rubber cement dry nice and hard so we don't get any movement. You just need to leave it for about half an hour. We've um, pinned them both together now, put them on the spiral sander and uh, got them pretty much exactly the way they wanted. I've made a decision, since I'm going to fully plank this ship, um, for this one um, I'm not going to cut the various pieces off um, and then try to stick them together. Having said that, I'm going to use the opportunity to learn how to fit the, the chalks. So I plan to cut out the chalk on each one of the cans and fit one in. I'm going to epoxy them and I will also uh, put three nails in them. So there we have, we have cut the chalks out, we have sanded them, they are identical. Um, now we are going to fit chalks to these individually. A little bit of five minute epoxy and
some PVA which we're watering down. Put the three nails in. If you put it in full strength, um, the odds are the tree nail is going to break. So I just let them protrude just a little bit. Like that. So we'll just let them dry. If you want to show um, false chalk, then you can take an exacto knife and cut the lines, and then to darken it, just put a little um, lead. A pen, use a pencil to highlight the line and then sand it. Setting the bench grinder at 27 degrees, as per the plan. And now we do the other one, um, just switch it around. These are for the number four uh, forward cam frames. So you'll see me skipping back and forward between various numbers. Um, the process is the same for each one. So the first challenge we're having is having set the first one up. How do you pin it? And there's no question that you need to put one dowel in to start with. Um, the instruction tells you to make sure you put two in. But just to hold it in place, you certainly need one dowel in place. I realize I need to clean up where the first cat frame fits in down at the heel. Um, so I'm using a file to clean this out to make sure that I get a nice clean line. We've cleaned it up now. It was quite a lot of glue down on the edge so we can get a nice good fit. Remember we said we were going to clean up all the cumulative errors and stop them here. And what we found is that this cat frame was about... Um, one sixty-fourth of an inch too far forward or too far back sorry so we've taken it down with a plane um, so that the, the the heel of both cam frames um, for number two will be in, in exactly the same position and now we've lined it up and we're going to put the first hole to pin the number two cam frame in place And it's real hard to get this in. We've got one in. With a lot of difficulty, we got the second one in. So they're both there. And now we need to line up with the square card. This is my little jig. It's a very flat um, 90 degree um, square that I can clamp to the um, the board so that I can get all the surfaces correct. It was almost impossible to find any type of clamp that would work in this situation. So this was my um, solution, which is a fairly strong clamp that pushes the number two cant frame against the number one. And that sort of holds it in place. This is the port side, which has been set for a while now. So we can 
take it apart. We still need to leave it to dry for a while. These are the spacers that we've added to both sides to give it some stability. Uh, as we go forward, eventually we'll take those out. Slight variation in the spacers. Um, this side is a little bit bigger than this side. Um, but by the number three cap frame, that should, be, that should disappear. This jig is really proving to be indispensable. So we've checked them to make sure that they're parallel to one another and they are dead on. This is number four being put down. Once you've um, got the knack of it, um, you tend to want to do things um, or do similar tasks together. So in the case of drawing them out, um, I've just finished number four, so I've gone right through from number five right through to number twelve. So I'm not going to repeat the same process over and over again. It doesn't make any sense. Um, anything that's of interest, I will certainly um, cover in the video, um, if I think. As the can frame started getting wider, um, it became necessary to split them in two because the ribs would be unstable. So this, for instance, is the number 12 and the number 11, which, as you can see, um, had to be broken into two pieces. We've cut out all of the pieces now, um, so it's just a matter of pinning them together with the tree nails and just sanding them. We need lots of tree nails, so the Vandalay machine again earned its weight in gold. Now we've pinned them together just before final shaping takes place. They've all been cut to size, so we just need to clean up um, stick the various pieces with 5 minute epoxy, put the tree nails in, and do one final clean. Quite clearly, this skill will have to improve over time. Not perfect. We've just finished making up the last of the forward cam frames, and um, those on the right are the failed pieces, for one reason or another. Not made to the sophistication that David and Greg suggested in the practicum. I used the simplest method. But it certainly got easier as I went along. And as the skill improved, I can only hope that by the end, that all of the frames are done, that I might actually be making much more complicated um, cap frames.